Hi, today my group and I will be presenting our PBL alien model documentary. So the outline that we will be going through is objectives and required outcome listing, background research, hypothesis, data analysis, and information analysis and expert consultation. Procedure, model, results and discussion, bibliography. In this research, we will be determining how movie makers create alien models based on scientific facts they have gathered and researched about. We will be investigating how animal adaptations give rise to its adaptations, as well as describe the relation between structure and function of organi uh, organisms, uh, and apply scientific methods to the same a model that reflects adaptation to the surrounding environment and valuing diversity among organisms. Living on Earth is quite different than living on Mars, which means an alien's body would look different than a human being's body. How do movie makers visualize an alien's body? We know that our body systems would be working differently in another environment as the skin gets thinner in outer space due to the strong production of collagen. In a recent article by Matthew Stock, he stated that three astronauts were in good condition from the high amount of collagen produced in their skin. Their skin seems to have an anti-aging effect located in the lowest part of the skin, dermis. It also seems that the upper dermis has a high role in the skin getting thinner as it is shrinking. A study constructed in 2006-2007 found out that a German astronaut named Thomas Reiter, his skin has gotten thinner and more stretchy when he returned from outer space back to Earth. The skin also gets drier and more likely to get injured like cuts, abrasions, infections when in space. The digestive system doesn't quite work the same in outer space as it doesn't digest the food due to lack of gravity. Their digestive system can get destroyed due to deep uh, space radiation, known as cosmic radiation, which can damage the digestive tract, stomach, and colon. We hypothesize that an alien skin would be dry since it's coming from outer space, and it would be thin as its body won't be able to absorb nutrients properly due to its digestive system getting affected by radiation, which will lead to tumor growth in the stomach, tumor, and the colon. Furthermore, movie makers tend to outline the alien model skin as a fresh young due to the fact their skin would have an anti-aging effect, which is caused by the strong production of collagen in outer space. Finally, we hypothesize that an alien's head would be big due to the fact their brain volume increasing as a result of the buildup of fluid in their brain. The software we use to create our alien model is called TurboSquid. So the first step we did was sketch our alien model with the facts we gathered and researched. The sketch of our model demonstrates that our alien would have a thin and bony structure with a huge head due to the fact that its digestive system would be affected by deep space radiation and the buildup of fluid in the brain. The first phase of creating our model was creating the head of the alien. So we made the head of our alien big due to the accumulation of fluids upwards in the brain and skull. And we also made its skin dry and parched since we assume it comes from outer space but due to the high amount of collagen produced in space, our alien model skin has an anti-aging effect which is why it seems young and youthful but their skin is still dehydrated due to the lack of gravity in space. The next phase, after finishing the head, face and skin texture, we moved on to its body. Our alien model is short as its bones shorten while in space and their density decreases which explains their scrawny and bony structure. Furthermore, our alien model will be thin and skinny as it has weak digestive system due to the deep uh, space radiation. The data shows a comparison of radiation doses. It shows the amount of radiation a person will get exposed to from the trip from Earth to Mars in outer space. We analyze that due to the huge amount of radiation exposition, an alien would have a weak digestive system which gives the movie makers an idea to keep the alien model thin and fit. And alien models appear skinny and frail due to the fact that the doses of radiation increases the deeper you get into space, which leads to weakness in the body and growth of a tumor. So the challenges we faced during the making of our model was getting used to the platform. The platform was a bit complicated, which required us to search more about it and watch more YouTube videos to learn the basics. And we also asked an expert who works in the media field to help us understand the program more and help us enhance our project. Our alien model's head is considered big due to the fact their brain volume increases as a result of the buildup of fluid in the brain. NASA has made a study called NASA's Twin Study, 
where they sent one of the twins to space and see how space really changes the human body. We concluded that aliens in movies appear short due to bone shortening uh, while in space and their skin would appear young as if they have anti-aging effect due to the strong production of collagen in outer space. In addition, producers would try to make the alien look as real as possible by comparing them to humans who have experienced changes and are likely to design the model based on these people. We believe that future alien models should have a more realistic look and movie makers should try to create their image based on scientific facts they gathered and researched about. Furthermore, we believe that by doing more research and collecting more scientific data, we can benefit astronomers. We can use the information we gathered and learned, such as the radiation and anti-aging effect, to help people in the field of astronomy. By enhancing the spacesuit with an anti-radiation effect and creating a fluid that contains the substances that gives an anti-aging effect to the skin. Thank you.